one time I came here. I remember it being built there. Uh, good afternoon and welcome to the August meeting of the City of Murfreesboro Historic Zoning Commission. Uh, we do have a quorum today, so I call this meeting to order. Uh, each of you should have received a set of minutes from the last meeting of July 16th. Are there any revisions, additions, or other comments? It looked in order to me. I'll make a motion to approve the minutes. Second. So we have a motion and a second. Is there any further discussion? If not, the chair to welcome a vote of aye for those to approve it. Aye. 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 Any opposed? They are approved. Uh, I'd like to introduce today our new, uh, the guy who's responsible for keeping us in line along with Brenda, <laughs> and that is Donald Anthony. He's the Director of Planning and Community Development. Donald, if you'd like to say a few words, we welcome you to our board. Thank you very much. Um, as most of you know, I think Diana Tomlin, her last month was a, with us was last month, and she has moved on to serve another city. So uh, if you don't mind, I will sit in with you for the next few months um, until we find a replacement for her. And I'm looking forward to it, and thank you very much. Great. Donald, if you would then bring us uh, forward our first bit of business. Sure, thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, the subject property is located at 930 East Main Street, which is at the corner, southwest corner of East Main and First Avenue. Uh, the house on this property was constructed in 1999, uh, and it does appear that considerable effort was made to have the structure uh, fit within the historic context of, of East Main Street. Uh, the front of the house features a semicircular wooden balustrade the applicant has provided an image of the balustrade, which uh, shows some deterioration on both the railing uh, as well as the individual balusters. The applicant wishes to replace the entire structure using a composite material, specifically a fiberglass resin. Uh, the packet includes several images of structures that have used this material. I'll pull a few of those up. Uh, these images are from Chadsworth, which is the manufacturer and distributor of this material. Uh, the applicant has submitted a material sample, which I'm going to pass around uh, for you to look at. Um, in determining the appropriateness of the proposed alteration and the proposed material, the commission may consider sections uh, C6 and C7 of the historic commission guidelines. Uh, these sections do suggest that building materials should either be consistent with the original materials or should closely approximate the original materials. Uh, Mike Chavis from Mullins Watson Builders is here on behalf of the property owner, Mr. Throneberry, uh, and can answer any questions that you may have. Thank you. If you would like to go to the podium then and state your name and your address. My name is Mike Chavis. My address? Yeah, uh, your, adre your address. Sir? Your address? Yes, it's 1562 Spain Hill Road. Okay. If you could describe the project to it to the commission here, and then we will ask you questions. Uh, so the uh, Mr. Thornberry approached us about doing some repair um, to the semicircular balustrade that sits atop the uh, portico entry of his home uh, at 9:30 East Main. Um, we went through a couple of material choices to use to replace because when we went up and inspected it, we realized that it was uh, rotted beyond repair in several areas. Um, and the material that we landed on was this uh, um, fiberglass resin marble dust composite. Uh, that is uh, very durable, extremely time worthy, uh, and would match the exact look of what he's got uh, currently on the top of that uh, curved portico. And what we would like to do is remove what is there and replace it with um, the product, uh, the balustrade product from Chasworth. What questions does the, does the commission have of the applicant? I have a few. What was the what is the material being replaced? What is it made out of? Redwood. And what other materials did you investigate? Uh, we looked at um, um, Arcastone, uh, but we didn't feel like that fit. Um, and then we looked at a different composite that was, in, in my opinion, less durable. It was um, 
kind of like the five pawn type material, except it was a little bit harder than that. Did you investigate putting it back with real wood? Uh, Mr. Throneberry asked if we didn't put it back with real wood, that we use something that's a little more um, weather resistant. Mm -hmm. uh, can we get the uh, picture of the porch back up? Uh, it described to the commission, just so we all know what we're voting on, uh, we see the columns, you see the sort of beam at the top of that, and then you see the balustrade and some plinths, some boxes between that the railing dies into. Correct. Can you describe all of which that's going to be replaced? Okay, what will be replaced is everything. If you can see, there's a copper lip that uh, is above the breastwork of the portico. The, what we're proposing to replace is, is the, um, the square columns uh, and, and put them in the same exact places where they are. Uh, the bottom and top railing of the balustrade, and we are going to re-roof that um, covered portico. If you exclude the discussion about the roof, so anything above the roof is being replaced? That is correct. Just on that semicircular portico, yes, sir. Did you all, I mean, he, he asked that you not look into real wood, but see, I, I do pre, I'm an architect and do preservation and something like this. Uh, failure on wooden materials like that typically is because, and you can see in the photographs, that the bottom of the turned balusters are rotting there at that point where they meet the rail. Yes, sir. And more than likely, uh, have you taken any of it apart? We have taken one of the uh, balusters out because we would like to send those to Chasworth so they can duplicate them exactly. Did but you, other than that, no, sir, we haven't taken anything Did you find out. the underside of that baluster primed or painted? <clears throat> um, no, that was not. So, And, and that's where the problem starts is that it's the ingrain soaking the water up and it starts sir. rotting from there. And had that been primed originally, it'd still be in really good shape, Could most be, likely. Yes. And that's where, in my profession, I use like mahogany or Spanish cedar or cypress, and then I prime all side. Anything getting painted on the outside, I prime all surfaces, even the cuts. That is a practice of ours as well. And and so, if 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 you had done it originally, it'd probably still be there. I, I can't say for sure. Well, but, I can't either, but it was. But it was, I, I would imagine it still would be there. Yes. In much better shape. Yes. So really it comes down to this commission uh, reviewing and accepting, if, if at all possible, using a composite material that's a man-made material. And instead of going back and replacing it with wood in kind, it doesn't have to be the same species, but that it would be wood and then painted. Sure. Is the, the square columns to the balustrade, are they gonna be hollow? Are they framed with pressure treated wood and there's a veneer put on it? Can you explain that? So the square columns, um, those, those, as I understand it from uh, the, the lady at Chasworth I've been talking to is Rosemary Saylor. So from what I understand from her, th they do have a hollow core, but they're pretty beefy on the outside. So the, there wouldn't be any wood involved. So it's sort of an upside down square shoebox. It's a shell. It, it is a shell, but the, the side walls are, I, I don't know exactly how thick, but I, I believe they're about an inch thick. But if you were to, when you receive it, it's gonna be one piece that you're gonna turn upside down. It is going to be one piece, yes. So it's hollow. Yes. I have a question about the weight. Yes. These little samples pretty heavy. It is pretty heavy, and um, we are going to determine the structural viability of that um, semicircular area where they're going to sit uh, when we take off what is currently on there is EPDM. Mm -hmm. and we're going to replace it with a gray TPO, a 60 mil yeah. TPO. Yeah. But they, they, will, they will be sitting directly above the columns <laughs> below as they are pictured. As they should. Mm -hmm. What other questions does the commission have? Well, I don't have a question, but 
is one of the drivers that the thornberries are wanting to go to this synthetic is because of the wood today uh, versus uh, 100 years ago. It's not as hard. I mean, um, I, I think the main driver for Mr. Thornberry is the the ease in maintenance. This is something that he can have up there and a, a, a good coat of Benjamin Moore aura on the outside would last a good long time and, and that material is not going to rot nor is it going to be affected by uh, wood boring insects. What other questions do we have? I don't know that I necessarily have a question, but I do want to comment on this material. I know we uh, are not a fan of, of putting vinyl back in places, uh, but you know, in the in the case of windows, uh, composite wood is typically acceptable. This and this is not necessarily just a vinyl uh, composite. This has a, a stone quality to it. It, it. it is composed of fiberglass, resin, and marble dust. So it's more of a rock than it is a yeah, piece they, of vinyl. Their, their term for it from Chasworth is a polystone. One thing I'm challenged by in this particular case is this is a 20-year-old house. It's technically non-contributing structure. Uh, on East Main Street, um, and I, I feel that this material is fairly attractive. Uh, it, uh, okay, so the baluster is going to fit up in this groove? That is correct, and yes, is, sir. Is there a filler or closure strip between the balusters that, or will it be hollow like this between mm. the two balusters? On the bottom, there, uh, I know that there's there's going to be, but that uh, would be the top rail. Yeah. And I'm not 100% sure if there is a filler for that. I can. So if, if we look up, it's not going to look like the <clears throat> photograph. You're going to see this groove. Mm, we'll order the material in such a way that we'll have the fillers. I you, will, you will have yes. a filler? Yes. Yeah, I, I recognize your point. Any further right. discussion? Our, our, in, our intention is to replace it exactly like it is right now. If no further discussion, the chair would welcome a motion. Well, I make a approve. motion that we uh, approve as submitted. Do we have a second? Second. Any further discussion? All those in favor, favor please say aye. 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 Those opposed? I believe the motion then carries, is that correct? So <coughs> you're, you're, it's accepted, thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, what is our next bit of business, Donald? Um, I do not have any other new business. I see that we have um, some folks in attendance. Do you have a, a previous case that you wanted to talk about today? Well, we coordinate come, come, come up to the podium if you would and state your name and your address. My name is Mark Green, 2452 Laredo Court, Christiana, Tennessee. We arranged this meeting with Diane prior to her leaving, so that got lost in communication somewhere, so I apologize for that. Well, it's good to see you all. What would you like to present to us? I'm here um, with Final Phase Construction representing Ms. Linda Parks, who's currently present with us. And she has some columns at her home off of Main Street that have rotted and are in dire need of replacing. So we're here to, in hopes of getting that approved. And I've got some pictures, because I don't think that that's going to be available for you to see. We sent all that to Diane, but I don't think it made it to you. If you want to bring those pictures sure. before the commission, we'll uh, send them around and do you have any samples? I do have samples as well. Okay, just put one in. You have two seven, two same copies.
Would the committee like to see samples of the current post and a sample of what we're recommending to be replaced as well? Okay. And I, if uh, if our communication folks can bring up the images, I, I did pull up the agenda from last month, which has uh, some images in it. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I think we have actually some new images that we okay. didn't see yeah. last time. On base. One of the top of the Capitol, for okay. instance. And the okay, we know the wood is. That's Thank the you. base. How you feel about that? This is part of the. the it's going to be plaster work. Mm -hmm. Same stuff. It says polystone. They still make those. So basically, what you guys are looking at are <coughs> it's a polystone composite material, which is actually lighter than wood, but it's more durable. Um, it's a fiberglass with marble dust matrix in it. We can trade. And um, you want that? No, it actually is load bearing which is stronger than the wood. And the company that we're looking at doing this is a local company that I've used in the past, um, Sledgecraft, I believe in kind of giving back to the local business in our area. They're phenomenal, this is what they do, and they enter all this into a computer and it's an exact duplicate of what's there. It's kind of like a 3D printer. They take pictures of it, laser measure cut it, and then it's entered into a computer and they they make the exact piece, which is a little easier to do than wood. Wood has to be hand carved, which takes a lot more time than using wood materials. And environmentally, you know, this is certainly a, a better option as well. But I'd love to answer any questions you guys may have. I have one. Are all of the columns in this condition? No, um, there is. 12 full columns and two half columns. Only three have to be replaced. Um, the other columns look pretty good. Um, the hopes, if we get approved for the polystone composite material, would be to replace them all. If we have to go to the wood option, we would only replace the three. And then the other ones would have to be scraped, resealed, and then painted. And Sledgecraft feels they can make identical replicas of they can make an identical replica and they've done this for me in the past and I've got obviously I've got some pictures of some samples of stuff that they've done as well and they're local here about two miles away I want to bring those sure. forward too I assume the current, I'm going to go ahead and if there are other, not any other questions right now. Uh, I assume that the existing columns are structural? They are structural. Mm -hmm. And will the new replacements be structural? They will be structural and the composite material that you're seeing there is actually stronger than wood. Uh, so to match what's there, I assume they have to sort of laser scan them? They do and there's a, we actually will take one down and take that to them and then they will duplicate that to the exact and I could see where like the base would be easy to do and I don't I really can't tell that there's any emphasis well maybe there is a little bit of emphasis in the yeah. columns and that's just where they taper and get as they get to the top correct uh, how are they going to scan and will they scan then the plaster capital I'm not sure the capital will be custom made they do that at their facility locally I've, I've never done a tour of their facility so I'm not quite sure how they will do that I've I know that they've done it and done it for us in the past. The base, which you can see in the photo, is actually concrete, and that will help structurally with the column sitting on that. That's actually not a composite or a wood, that square you're piece at the bottom. Speaking of this. That, that is a concrete piece. You're not speaking of this, you're speaking of this. Correct. Yeah. That piece will stay, the column actually is what they're gonna make and it'll go on top of that. And this base here below the shaft will be that same material. It's all the same material. Is it part of this? Or is it separate and just? It's all one piece. It's one piece. Mm -hmm. Is the capital? Capital is one piece. It's all made as one piece, and that's why it's load bearing, and that's why it's stronger than wood. And this material can be painted to any color. Most of your vinyl and other composite materials cannot be. So we can duplicate exactly what's there. I think you have the same. 
uh, once it's scanned then and, sh and if she decides to do other columns as they get deteriorated they'll have that on file and they can just run another couple yeah i mean it, obviously you know um you guys have been in the business long enough that it gets pricey if you see set a form and you do it one time it's cheaper to do all of them at, that then have to come back and do it again later and the other columns at some point will need to be replaced um and it would be a lot cheaper to do it at the front end than having to come back you know it's going to preserve the look and the history and the character of the home for decades to come When was the house built and when were those columns installed? That's a good question, Linda. Mm -hmm. And are they the original columns? They are original. What kind of wood is it? Do you have any idea? Yeah, it's just, it, you know, there's plaster around it and the wood is just, it looks like it's untreated wood. It doesn't look like it's treated at all. It's just a hollow. One of the pictures has a picture of the wood Mm -hmm. It's a column that's laying down. It's, the one that it's just that one there. old school, handcrafted probably back in the day. They hand carved it and did it on site, I'm sure. And so the finish of the columns is plaster? It's like a plasto stucco type material. It's uh -huh. almost like they, they caulked it somehow and then painted it because you can, that, that pedestal piece right there to your right, you can start to peel that away. It's almost like a rubbery yeah. material. Yeah. And that's what they wrap the wood with. And obviously, there's so much maintenance that's involved in trying to care for something like that. It's almost virtually impossible to protect the wood. How much maintenance has been done on it in the last 120 years? I think every few years she has it caulked and painted. Yeah. But it's obviously, it's never going to hold up to the weather. It's, it's, it's held up for 120 years. It's held up pretty good. That's not bad. It's not bad. <laughs> And this, and, uh, and most of this damage here recently has been caused from a roof leak that happened that was undetected uh -huh. in the roof, yeah, so. So this house is uh, it's part of the Main Street Historic District and is considered to be a contributing structure in the district, I think. It is. Okay. Uh, Mr. Chairman, what's the difference between this material and material that the thornberries are using? They're pretty similar. Uh, I don't know the. I, I, I intentionally stayed out of chemistry in high school and college, and so <laughs> I, uh, as as did I. <laughs> my dad had a PhD in organic chemistry, and I knew I would never be that good. Um, I don't know the, the composition. I know that this is a composite material that is uh, got, like, like you said, with uh, ground sawdust mm -hmm. with it in there. And I don't know about this. This seems to be a more of a polymer, but I don't really know. It is, and there's a description on one of the sheets I gave you of, of how it's made, what the, what the materials are, and the structural stability of that, and the benefits to the environment. I suspect that the capital was plaster, and that's the last American sealant that you're peeling back there, Give mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. That's why it's sort of rubbery. Correct. Is that it's an elastomeric sort of thing. If you pull it back, you see the original um, plastic plaster face yeah. of it. And it's just extraordinarily thick, and that's what's helped to preserve it because the plaster will, exposed to the weather, will start to sure will. dissolve. Mm -hmm. uh, they still make those. There's a group out of Chicago, uh, Chicago Decorative Arts or something, and they still make those, and you can get capitals replaced. Uh, I understand the I understand the desire to go back with something that has less maintenance and so you don't have to worry about rot and that kind of thing it's just we're in the dilemma of as as a preservation organization to try to maintain as much of the original material as possible and that's where we get into this dilemma what do we allow and as we get craftier and smarter and more chemists get involved, we get more synthetic materials that are not the real stuff that we built with originally 100 plus years ago. It's, it becomes a dilemma of what do we allow in and start, we open the door for other people to come in that same door saying, I want the same thing. And that's where we have pretty much held fast uh, for a very long time. And it's just a real dilemma, for at least for me. <coughs> One of the differences between this uh, house and the other house that we just talked about earlier is that the uh, Throneberry house is only 20 years old and is not contributing to the historic district. And that is, it does not contribute to the historic nature of the district. It will in 30 years, it'll be 50 years old and then will be considered to be 
historic by the National Historic Preservation Act. Uh, and so I voted to approve the earlier uh, item because it is not a contributing structure. However, our guidelines do say that original building materials, including wood, brick, stone, terracotta, and stucco, uh, original building and roofing materials should be retained. If replacement is necessary, it should be with original materials or close visual approximations of the original. And, and this will probably be a close approximation of the original, but when we come to uh, reevaluate the historic district, the historic architects will look at all of these buildings again, and if there have been alterations that have changed the historic nature of the building, they then may become non-contributing. That is, buildings with vinyl windows, buildings with some uh, synthetic materials may no longer be contributing structures to the historic district. And so that, that echoes what uh, Jim is saying. You know, our, our dilemma is, you know, if we approve these alterations, using materials that were, did not exist at the time that the structures were built, and we come to reevaluate the historic district as I think we are planning to do, we may find ourselves without a historic district because there have been so many changes made using synthetic materials that were not historic materials. I, I don't know how, if that's really the case, but it, it, it certainly in some cases where we have a, approved inadvertently uh, materials that are not historic, it may have changed the character of the structure in such a way that it can no longer be part of the contributing features of that historic district. And so that's, that's what we're considering. Yeah. Yeah. Did you, by chance, consider the original material if there is such a thing available anymore? We have. It would have to be custom made like this, but it, it is possible. Uh -huh. Did you get a price? I, I did. It's, it's almost double the cost. Yeah. And it's not as strong or durable or environmentally friendly yeah. as the current. That's the well, we don't know how long this modern material is going to last because it hasn't been around that long. But we do know that the original material lasted 120 years. Correct? Correct. And, and is having to be replaced. Yeah. As almost everything will be sure. at some no, point. Nothing's guaranteed to last right. forever. Right. <laughs> Nothing. But from a curb, you know, looking at it from a curb, it'll be an identical match unless you walked right. up there and touched it, I guess, and felt it. Well, I think another thing to consider here, too, is um, the statement that this will be an exact visual approximation of the original. So as you're driving down Main Street, you're not going to see anything different than you see now, just that the material is different. And it'll be like a 3D printer. You can make anything on a 3D printer. It's the same process that's used to make these. So it's actually better than what a human can do to carve these to make them look. In fact, you know, there'll be imperfections in trying to reduplicate this in wood as the composite material that's computer generated. It's, it's spot on. I did understand you to say, though, that you were going to replace the three. Depending on what happens, you'd either replace Correct. them all with the new material or you would repair and replace the three that were highly in need and the others would be repaired and repainted yes ma'am because of the cost of the wood because of the labor involved and how what they got to do for that process if we go the wood route we would only replace the three that have to be replaced because of cost if we get approved for the composite material we will replace all of them so it would all be an exact duplicate and if you replace them with wood what materials would you use with wood yeah i would have to get that from Sledgecraft. i did not ask that I would hope that it would be pressure treated exterior wood, which I would request that. Uh, pressure treated will not uh, allow a paint surface on it for six the months. The exterior would not be that. It would be similar to what's there is how they would make that. It would have to be hand done. So it would be an elastomeric sealant. Yeah. Usually the cores of them, the shafts, the wood ones, have a, a, a um, tar-like material, an asphaltic material to keep it dry and that kind of thing. Well, these columns either way you do it will they be vented they will be hollow um, so they will be there will be a small vent at the top that you will not see yep. and the woods one wood ones will probably be a bigger diameter event just because of the way they have to make them but I'll I'll know more details on that once we meet with the manufacturer depending on what route we go I can I can certainly get those answers and 
we can meet back up on that. Any further questions or comments or discussion by the commission? I would just note that generally speaking for historic structures, for structures that are on the National Register of Historic Places, that repair is preferable to replacement. Correct. And that would be the case for the remaining columns, but for the three that are virtually right. unrepairable, those would have to either get replaced with the wood or the composite. Right. And those other items would have to have some attention done to them no matter what direction we go here. Right. Were the three that were damaged near each other or were they Yes, scattered? they were all in the same area. If you look at the photo, it's that corner where the porch meets right there. One of them is missing okay. near yes. the gutter. Mm -hmm. And then those two to the right and left of that. I think you said it was due to a leak. Mm -hmm. There was damage in that particular Correct. area due to a leak. And I can't confirm that, you right. know, roofers say, yeah, it's due to this, it but like it. It, you know, wind blows rain in there for multiple years and the base of all those have some small holes where water has gotten in there for, you know, improper installation or just lack of, mm -hmm. lack of maintenance over the years, you know, is what causes that. That would be the most structural spot of the porch the the point that carries the greatest load there and the great thing about this new material is it is stronger than the wood for load bearing and it, and it says it in there it's, it's a much more durable product and with those concrete bases i'm pretty confident it'll do the job for decades to come mm -hmm. this one is very difficult you, you walk in the very fine line with oh yeah yes sir but I hear there may be pie in it. I don't know. If there's no further discussion, the chair would welcome a motion or other action. Okay. I'll make a motion that we approve the synthetic material Do as submitted. Do we have a second? I'll second. Any further discussion? Uh, yeah, I'm wondering, you're approving the synthetic material for what? For the columns. For how many columns? For all of them. That was the request. Your request was for all the columns, correct? Yes, that's the hope. If we can go the poly composite route, the, the hope is to replace all of them. Yes, sir. I would prefer to see a motion to approve the three columns and uh, perform maintenance on the other, others. And so uh, as it comes to a vote, I will vote against uh, replacing all of them. David, are you willing to modify your? Well, in my, my concern when you have two different materials and, and now we're at the risk of visually, of visually seeing repairs been done. So no, I, don't, I, I would not uh, agree to uh, change the motion. Uh, so I think we need to uh, continue with the motion as made. Um, we have a motion and a second to replace all the columns. Is that correct, everybody? David? Yes. yes. Uh, if no further discussion, all those in favor of the motion, please say aye. 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 Those opposed? No. No. So the motion fails. Do we have a second motion? Gib, do you want to make your motion? I would move that uh, we permit the use of the synthetic material for the three columns and that uh, maintenance be performed on the other columns with the hope of extending their life. They have lasted 100 plus years. The difference in appearance, according to what you've said, is that there will be no difference in appearance between the replacements and the existing, and so that argument, I think, uh, fails on its face. So therefore, I would move to approve the three and repair the others. Do we have a second? I don't think I can make a motion or a second. Is there a second? If I didn't hear, is there a second? No, if we if don't have is, a second, and I know as a chair, I cannot make a motion or a second. If, it, if there's no second, it dies for lack of a second. Mm 
Well, this is the first time. <laughs> I've been I've been difficult in the past, though. So. Does anybody wish to uh, do another motion? The other motion I think would have to be wood columns replacement. I would like to make the motion that the three columns that need to be repaired go back in wood and then the remaining columns be repaired as needed. Do we have a second? We have a motion. Second. We have a, a motion and a second. Is there any further discussion? I would like, it, one thing that did come up to me as we were doing this, when they do an exact copy of that plaster capital, are they gonna strip the elastomeric cover off of it and give us back the dimensions and detail of it when it was plaster? The response that they gave to me was it would be an exact duplicate match. I'm yeah, not sure. duplicate of what exists. what's currently there. So I don't know the process and how they do that, but. Can they, they you do computer drawings with wood or computer? They do, Sledgecraft does do yeah. that. Okay. And yeah. that's what they do, that they're in the industry to do that. So in other words, they would probably have to reduce the dimensions slightly in order to make room for the, the uh, correct the mm -hmm. finish, whatever that might be. And they deal with custom homes in this yeah. type of process They've done this all over before. the tri-state. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. They're, they're pretty well known in the industry here. Are it's, they located here in Murphy? They're located right down the street. Mm -hmm. yeah. So we have a motion and a second. Any further discussion? All those in favor of the motion, please say aye. 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 Those opposed? Opposed. Opposed. So we have three, four, and two against. So the motion carries for new wood columns there that to be replaced. Thanks, guys. Donald, do we have anything else? Mr. Chairman, I do not. Thank you. Thank you. I do not. Uh, if that's the case, then the chair would welcome a motion to adjourn. So moved. Do we have a second? I'll second that. Uh, all those in favor, please say aye. 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 We are adjourned. Thank you. <laughs>